Let's have a look at exercise 10B. It's on page 434. Now we are going to look at A, C, and E. For A, C, and E, and then you're going to do B, D, and F. Why don't we use this notation? It comes from one of the previous pages. Up until now, we've been using the prime notation, and we can also use the dy, dx notation as well. So we can use either of those. Got a Y here, so we'll use that one. Okay, the first thing we need to do for A is write it and then take the derivative of that. It's a constant, so dy dx is zero. Therefore, at x equals two. Okay, so dy dx equals zero. In fact, this is a horizontal line that runs through y equals six. And so the gradient is zero for the whole line for all values of x there. So that's A. Let's have a look at C. Okay, so we can use the other the prime notation now, squared. So the derivative is equal to two times three is six, x, two minus one is one. Now we're looking at the point x equals two. So put that in there and that's 12. Now let's have a look at E. E is the function of x equals 3x to the fourth plus 7x minus 3. The derivative is 4 times 3 is 12. 4 minus 1 is 3 plus 7. And at the point 2, that's 12 times 2 cubed plus 7. That's 12 times 8 plus 7. That's 96 plus 7. That's 103.